what is this two month subscriber badge <laughs> a cat uh that is a taiyaki i i made my sub badges taiyakis and yours is a chocolate taiyaki i think the uh one month is a vanilla taiyaki and if i type my own since hold on uh sup <laughs> i only have an eighth month because i've only been streaming for eight months so it's a uh neapolitan uh taiyaki which i haven't seen in real life but one day maybe wow they have this in a lot of languages my only thing with my webcam angle is now when i look at chat it's like down this way but you guys are up here down there up there up there up there yeah it's a fish <laughs> so let's do english nikita huff so me so me soon wait what's so me so me that sounds good okay is the audio coming in from the game help me buy milk write down your name it gets me really nervous when it tells me to do shit like this okay I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech it's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store dude this music's already freaking me out they have amazing ice cream. Oh, we need to go sometime. I want ice cream. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? Are we going to play the silent game? Okay. I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again... Hello, can I get... Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm, I'm trying my best. I think this time the I sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Eh, who knows. Hello, can I... Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Uh, don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. Uh, how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> uh, how do you imagine that? Uh, it's not the first time this has happened. Oh, yes. If they have Taiyaki, I'm totally coming with you. Um, let's see. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I... Uh, I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. So, step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute. Uh, what do you mean, step one? Oh, what then? But it's already the fifth second. Fifty second. Or wait, I'm going backwards. So then it's the fiftieth? Uh, it doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. Ugh, you're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so... You will be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Ugh, damn. Really? Well, are you ready? <laughs> Hell yes. I carefully move my foot backwards, looking carefully into the dense grass. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... Who the fuck? Is that supposed to be a person with, like, four eyes? Oh. Uh, excuse me, what? Oh. Uh, excuse me, what? Oh. Should I be pushing O? O? I just kept clicking. You shouldn't have done that. 
He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Wait, then what should I do? What? Auto quick? This is me pushing escape. Oh, this is a save. Dude, what? What? No. Dude, this game's really confusing. Oh. <laughs> so, wait, what else can I do? This is the volume, I think. Okay. So what does O do? O. Capital O? How about zero? Q? I'm just going down my cal- my calculator, my keyboard now. H, like, gets rid of the font. Oh! I full screened it! Shit! <laughs> that actually kinda scared me! Uh, that's the volume again. I went through all the keys. What? Did it get smaller? What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? Wait, what? <laughs> What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining it won't be enough, but keep- Oh, shit! Wow, that really was kind of scary! Something like that. Dude, it's like tryptophobia or something, I think. Whew. I was gonna try to multitask during the stream, but this is too entertaining. How is this entertaining? I'm just reading this. Uh, something like that. So, I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh! <laughs> my interlocutor shook and crawled away. Uh, you just repeated after him. And it worked. Okay. Do it more often. Oh, wait. I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean... I didn't even look in his direction. Uh, when you exactly... When exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. Dude, this game is getting, like, really fourth wally. <laughs> I can barely tell this is a grocery store. <laughs> I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack, there are bags of milk. Is this Canada? We both stand, and the milk lies? Or maybe... Uh, hey, hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here. Not here. Take the bag and go to the fucking cash register. <laughs> this is crazy. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk. Or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on, come on! Fifteen minutes before the store closes, hurry up! I remember what these games are called. Uh, visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But they're the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either? Wait, uh, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up and you'll get it at home again. I'm on my way. Hello, can I get some milk, please? What the fuck? That's like an alien. You have it. Uh... Give. I put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I... can I have it, please? 
No. Please? No. But please, mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Uh, hey. What? Pay for the milk. <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days be Two days? Before he nodded contently and put it in the cash register. Thank you, goodbye. I walked down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidical structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. Uh, how are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. Yeah, but I'm really interested. Well, look. The ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best. Unless you want to drink more than to eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick. And the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. I see. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains. Petrol stains. You can't with this game? Yeah, this game's weird. I'm trying to keep my balance. And how do people move over something as uneven as the city plane? Gently, heel toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Uh, hey, well, watch out! Uh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. What the fuck? Hey, I'm walking here! I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes, in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. Brazen? Brazen. Brazen? Uh, it, it was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, I've heard bears with eyes on the back of their heads. Dude, you could have died. Ah, come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? The world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. Something's wrong with this girl. Brazen. Brazen. Brazen! The second one. <laughs> English is hard. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It, it adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain, streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently, these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. You have to accept the truth. No! You have to accept the truth. No! No! <laughs> I guess I'll try something else next time. I got goose pimples. Oh, my arms, everything's prickling. I got goose pimples. Okay. Write down your name. If I write the same name, is it going to tell me no, not you? Again? I hope we can do it this time. Oh, okay. They trust me. Wait, but I have to go through the whole thing? Hold on. 
I'll just skip through most of this. Oh wait, I saved, didn't I? Oh, I saved so long ago. Load game. What? How do I load? Load game? Yes. Okay, at least this is a little quicker. It's gonna show me the O again though, great. See? <laughs> okay, so she doesn't want to be told that the world is uh, terrible. She wants to live in her little happy world. Buy the milk, buy the milk, buy the milk. Click, 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 click. We're getting there, we're getting there. The humans in this game, or humans in this game, they're so freaky. I should probably save just in case. Yes. There. Hey. So I'm helping this girl buy milk, basically. And then walking her home. You don't want to talk bad about her because she might get upset. Hey, watch out. There's a bear there. JK hits a truck. Ha ha ha. Lol, you almost died. <laughs> okay. We're back to where we were. I'm gonna drink some water. Mm. Let's see. Hurry, Cloud. I'm sad. Are you really sure this is happening? I'll just do dot 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 this time. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever's reading this right now. If you say so? I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench. The perfect place for cliché visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. What am I looking at? Listen. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately... Things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh shit, I have to type something? Sure. I'll be honest with you. And I expect the same from you. Please. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Well, I'm not really surprised. I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it, because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. Hold on, I'm gonna put this mic a little bit fucking closer to my fucking butt. There we go. <laughs> so I don't have to hunch over. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me. Reading my delusional thoughts. Healing my- Healing? Hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> what is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since- <clears throat> Something happened. All I see is red. Red blood everywhere. No, <laughs> don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Oh shit, my mic moved. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to move that far. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors look like. Come on. 
Those monsters from the store. They didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Okay. I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So, you're really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? Oh fuck, this Rorschach test. I'm like, if I get farther away from it, can I tell? I see like, maybe a vegetable or something. <laughs> um, I, I think this is like the front of a motorcycle, maybe? Motorcycle? Did I spell that right? Anyway, <laughs> I don't think you were supposed to find out what that was at all. This is my dad. Wait, what? How is this your dad? Hi, <laughs> Liquid. Some of his parts, at least. Oh, that's why. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I, I never would have thought. Sorry. I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. So, what if you answered that right? <laughs> like, what if you answered it as like, Oh, it's your dad. <laughs> oh, Likwu. It's only been like a week since the last time you said that. <laughs> strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more your merit. Oh, two weeks. That's right. I forgot I took a week off. <laughs> I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. So is this supposed to be her dad? Like her looking out the window and seeing her dad on the ground? Shit. This game, I have no idea what this game is. But so far it's basically just letting a girl go to the grocery store, I guess? But there's something wrong with her, mentally. She needs help. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. Oh, she took the box. <laughs> And yet, I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad... Well, you know. Day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but, you know what? Today is a special day. Because I have you! There's so much I want to tell you. Oh, shit. That scared me. I don't know why that scared me. That was very rude of you. Oh, no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear reader, shall we go? Oof, I got goose pimples again. It's so, it's like such a simple looking game, but like, I don't know why it's giving me nervousness. Oh, dang, dude. That's a lot. When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day, like a ritual. I stop being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so... I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs... Terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Door? 
Oh shit! Hi! Did you bring the milk? Dude, that's my mom. My mom's scary as shit. Yes, I did change hydrate. Because some people have too many points. <laughs> Hi, mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, mom. Go to bed. Yes, mom. I hate that face so much. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Milk bot. Okay. So that was the first game in this whole series. It was a very, very short, quick game that the person made. So now we're going to play the actual game that they made afterwards. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, this is the one that they made after the first game. Flashing images and touches on heavy topics. Take care. They have upgraded the graphics. They have upgraded everything. I don't know how long the game is. It's probably going to be way creepier because they upgraded the graphics a lot. Holy shit, it's like an actual anime. Oh, she's counting her footsteps. Dude, that's loud as fuck. The story's closing soon. Oh, this is like everything that happened that we just played. Whoa. Anyone who has uh, epilepsy and stuff, please don't watch this. I have a feeling there's going to be an epilepsy warning. Hello, can I? It won't take much time. What do you see? Are you sure? Anyways, it's... Yeah, that's when she was telling me it was her dad. Dude, whoever drew this is amazing. Like, it looks really good. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Her mom has creepy face. Oh, oh, we start. Milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. Continue? Well, I can't select that. Dude, this is really loud. If it's too loud, please let me know. Ooh. I'm getting creeped out. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Oh shit, this is like right after what just happened. Holy crap. This is a direct sequel. Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. Oh, I didn't know Death Note was banned in uh, Russia. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> That's so silly. 
I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that... <laughs> I break into a run and dash towards a closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now, don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers, but then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait. How can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? Uh, no, 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 I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when I, my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Dude, she must go through a lot of doors. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside. But there was a bag of milk I bought today sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back, and nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in a store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. Oh, thank you, Liquid. <laughs> on the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. The visuals are so good. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. Oh, oh shit! Hi, Mom! Uh, ah! Ah! I meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. My mom is scary as fuck! <laughs> After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again. I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. Oh wait, that was me, oops. <laughs> Oh shit, that's a long finger! <laughs> Don't meet her at the proctologist. <laughs> oh. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. <laughs> a white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor. Just like last time. But... Why... Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell. While my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me! Kill me! Hysterical screams resounded through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint every drop that fell into my memory, so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need... A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Dude, this is really intense. Say it. 
I'll never drink milk ever again. I... Say it. I'll never... Drink milk... Ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. What the fuck is wrong with that milk? <laughs> Yeah. So if that person's supposed to be her mom and her mom's forcing her to do something, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't. I have no idea. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this bus. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed. So I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. To look at my reflection. Oh. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah. I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long, it would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away, as if somebody fished them out of my head, one after another, one after another, until nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again. Even though I don't feel any need for it. That was jump scare enough. <laughs> I hated that sound. <laughs> After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. Now I want to have a better look at it. To twirl it between my fingers to chew on it. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside of you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder, and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> Filthy! The pill flies straight into the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. <laughs> Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There were some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies in the waste bin as well. What is this? Hold on. Uh, in chat. Main character is mentally ill on drugs. We see the game from their eyes. The parent isn't abusive, just the person who's ill will, not understanding it, and thinks about their mom as a monster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think I can get behind that. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead, and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, <laughs> my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, <laughs> my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. My stomach doesn't hurt anymore. My eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. With that frame of mind, what is milk actually? I have no idea. I mean, I bought the milk at the grocery store. You think it's just normal milk. <laughs> And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyways. I don't want to disturb her without a reason. I'll think of something myself. 
And besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? Is this going to tell me to type my name? Hey. Oh, yep. It's the... Yeah. It's the voice from before. Technically. Hey. Long time no see. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. There you go, bullying me again. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you were too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No! You've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn. Alright? I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. <sighs> what a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you. At all. Hmm? I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. And what made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple of hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Stop lying. Nuh-uh. I still don't understand. Whatever. Unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic, snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So, you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. Well, that was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. I don't think you destroyed the game. I think you're basically just seeing what you see. I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneering looks on the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown in their giggling. But then me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile. Bears her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk to the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared. Two by two squared. A, a square squared. A square pyramid squared. A pyramidical structure cubed. A pyramidical structure hypercubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine. You can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I... Don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? I should probably save, honestly. How do I save? Did they have to make the, the pause save thing the O? Great. Is it slowly getting closer? It is. It's getting closer. I hate that. <laughs> no, you're not good with psychological horror, Likwu? I am so sorry. Yeah, I think this is a psychological horror. Yeah. You had to know how challenging it was. I knew how challenging it was. I played it, like... 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Mm. Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? And what do you think? I can't be sure about anything. 
and you don't take me seriously anyways. And then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true. The pain subsided for a bit at that time, but now I feel it triple the force. I'm not sure how many jump scares are in here. There's definitely some, like, scares, but, like, I wouldn't call them jump scares. Famous last words. <laughs> it hurts so bad. You know what to do. I don't want to threaten, you know? Dejected. I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills, one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. That worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. At least she's having fun with it. <laughs> Dude, that's like ringing in my ears. Ooh. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. And you need regular emojis. I'm <laughs> sorry, Nemo. <laughs> Twitch doesn't have normal emojis. <laughs> I need to draw more emojis, though, that's for sure. Do you want to talk about it? No. I've had enough of talking. What do you want, then? I... I just want to lie down for a bit. It scares me when my thing pops up. Yeah, everyone hates being alone. Even if the... She wants to be alone, I should probably be quiet. Whoa. Oh, is that her ceiling? Dude, that's crazy viewpoint. I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, and scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed start over. I can't do it. Wait, what is this? Oh, I'm an artist too, though. <laughs> I, I look at stuff a lot and just be like, I can do that and draw it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money either, so I can't really hire people. <laughs> you can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming. Like cockroaches. Ew. I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? Dude, I need money too. Come on. <laughs> I can't pay people because I can't pay myself. <laughs> I don't mind either way. Are you going to make them into fireflies? Oh, so cute! But thank you for the offer though, Liquu. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts. They're fireflies now. Start whirling all over the ceiling in their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. 
Enough! I hate you! I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Dude, her mom's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Actually, that's about the... Yeah, that's... No. I think the last loaf of bread I bought was like $5. Yeah, bread's getting expensive. Everything's getting expensive. Good job. Now start over. <sighs> no way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? Yes. And what do you want me to do then? I don't know. It's up to you. Here had it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Forget about them and go to bed. No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts, or else... <sighs> I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me! You promised to talk to me! What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. Well, that's the thing, I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They're so itchy. Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did he bring milk or did you bring milk? 13 dollars a day, that's, that's really bad, I'm so sorry. Well, if that's American money. I don't know how Polish money conversion wise is. Um, did you bring milk or did he, did he bring milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? I wonder if I tear out my eyelashes one after another, all my eyelashes one after another, if I tear out my eyelashes, what have you done? I need to gather the glass and then, and then I need to have a bath and then, here, drink some milk. What is this milk? Achievement unlocked, first death. I died? <laughs> I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. Serial experiment lane vibes? Dude. Yeah, it's giving me some... It's giving me some vibes, alright. I'm gonna save. <laughs> yeah, milk might not actually be milk. You are correct. Whew. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. It's already kind of messy, dude. All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? Uh... uh... 
You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't and I won't. All right then. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? <laughs> this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Uh, hey. What? Uh, look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wow. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> I don't want a fire to start in this room. Are you kidding me? No. I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. Hey, look down. Zaxby's? What's Zaxby's? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Look down. Look down? Look down. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, little guy. It's time to come home now. Also, I noticed uh, the name of the game is like called B-O-O-B-O-M. <laughs> As if it was in order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> it tickles. Come on down. Let's look for the others. Actually, might be LSD. Wait, I got an ad for a wing place. As soon as you said look down. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hope it's a good restaurant. I've never been to that. Yeah. <laughs> Look down, restaurant ad. <laughs> I forgot the ad things pop up. I'm so sorry. I am so hungry right now. Holy crap. You got an NFT ad? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be clicking stuff. I doubt it. All the compartments are locked. What if... I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. Okay, she does not like that. Is this game just for the spooks or is there actually deep and good story behind it? Uh, I think it's about this girl's struggle. Oh shit, my... <sighs> I hated that. Uh, I think it's someone who's really struggling. Um, but the main purpose of the game is to try to help them, I guess. I think the story she kind of told in the first game, which I played literally like 20, 30 minutes ago, was that she has witnessed her father's death. He jumped to his death. And so, there, you know, there's some mental stuff happening right there. I think there is a lot that's just for spooks. Um, but ultimately, I think the story is along the lines of um, be kind to yourself and take things one step at a time and ask for help, which she's asking for help, which is technically the voice in her head. I'm gonna save. <laughs> okay. Everything is deep if you think about it. I try for explanations. I'm just as lost as all of y'all, I promise. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you 
joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Ugh, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. At all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even the little spit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousandth of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey, uh, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh no, you... <laughs> oh wait, oh no you don't. Then act normal. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't want to look there either. What about your toothbrush? I turn my eyes towards an inco inconspic... In that word, shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it, and a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. Okay, let's look somewhere else. What about these sticky notes? Your usual notebook page is glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? <sighs> yeah. I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. She really does not like her mom. My scream makes the pages rustle restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. Uh, hey. Let's continue searching. Okay, so I found one of them. Pills. Pills here! I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't... What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hey, calm down. You've already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh, come closer, and extend my hand. Well, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns. Pills rain down from it, and along with them, a firefly! Hooray! <laughs> After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands in my palm. A firefly rushes up my arm, and upon reaching my shoulder, crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. Let's do the glitchy mess. Oh, it won't even let me click it. I get close to the waste bin and look inside it with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you here. What's this? This must be a charger. Sleeping bag? <laughs> this is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spread a m to spend a minute or two inside just spread a minute or two. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items, close their eyes, and then... Uh, hey, did, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return myself to senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a lock at this time, but right now I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside? Nah, my thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary. They always cause insomnia. Just like tonight. Okay. So this whole scene is kind of like relevate, relevant to insomnia, I think. And she pretty much just spelled it out. The racing thoughts that you have to find. You can't sleep until you do. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Mm. 
I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did. Before entering the web. Huh? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your apologies are spot on. Or analogies. Analogies. Okay, I imagined. Alright. So you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives- Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Um, yeah. Fine. Suddenly a firefly suddenly crawls out of the laptop's vent curl. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself. If only I knew that. It looks like a cipher. Do you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. Then it starts glowing again, as if coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of actions, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. Dang. Finish searching. Oh, I could just straight up finish, but there's so many items to click on. Plants. Right. Insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf. I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard. And death. You know those plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? I look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theat the 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 I let out a yawn and hold out my arms to the sides. There are some words in this universe that I have a hard time saying. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart? Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine. You have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction. And then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. Oh, what a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? Oh my god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it. Do you see the firefly? N no. Let's continue searching then. Oh, there's a radio here. Oh my god, there really is quite a lot to click on. But like, I wonder each part like helps unlock like who she is in a way. <laughs> That's just turning it on. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's different every time. Oh, I hate it. Either way. Okay, umbrella. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder. It's the only thing that defends me against the thunderclouds that gather under my ceiling. 
It's such a blessing that I can do it without my help. Wait, that it can do it without my help. What? Oh shit! The game lagged. <laughs> Still, a firefly won't hide in a place like that. He'll catch a cold and be unable to fly. All right, let's continue searching. This game will end with a do a flip. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, book. This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. You draw that rarely? Why? Hmm. Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get to the stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Well, maybe you can ask your mom to buy one? Buy what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? Don't play dumb. Ask your mom to buy you a notebook instead. Instead? So you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're also telling me to do one instead of another? Then how would I decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. 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 Duh. I don't know how that word's pronounced. I think I've always pronounced that word wrong. And you're a tough case. You lack empathy. Is that my fault? I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Uh, let's not go there, okay? I stand up and study the sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page. The way it should be. Too bad. I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no! I shut my eyes. A distinctive sound of pages turning echoes. With headaches in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped. Even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open to the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look. If I wait a little longer. If I wait... Open your eyes. No! It's okay, just do it. No way! I know you're lying! Calm down. No! Calm down. No! Fine. I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I, I don't know, did you? You're the smart one here, you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you? I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. The wrestling grows louder, the pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way. Everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look. Look there. A barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly! The wind immediately stops. For a moment, the world sinks into perfect silence. But only for a moment. The buzz that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings. But it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy. You made me so scared. The firefly blinks, flies up in, and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then its buzzing dies down. Whew. Are you okay? We're running short on time, so let's continue searching. I need what they are. I don't I don't know what that is. <laughs> the the do a flip sick sick si, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Why would you have two radios in your room? I look down. My school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating decomposing and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. 
totally not cool. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there. And I'm not interested in anything else. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. All right, all right. What did you like the most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms are really bright. Not like at home. That's it? Don't rush me. Let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes. The others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner and went to our rooms. And what happened then? I don't remember. And does it even matter? Okay. Good. I look at my bag again. Light pouring into the room through the window glints on the metal parts. And there's also a shadow underneath it. Which means it's real. Sadly. Whatever. I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened. Countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I've spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling towards me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it, and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. And that's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while, and then goes silent. And this one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure. Let's continue searching. She has three radios. Is that what you said? Oh shit, she does! What if I turn all of them on? Oh, wait. If I It turns it off if I click another one. Okay. Dude, yeah, she might be a tech nerd. Three radios? Oh my gosh. That scared the shit out of me. There was thunder outside my house. <laughs> Oh, I forgot it was supposed to rain today. Great. Thunder. I hate thunder. It scares me. Okay. What's these photos? And what are those? Uh, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're blank. I started it. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes. What? Now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it. Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. Air conditioning unit, light bulbs, vent, fan. Okay, those are the last things. Fan. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I imagine myself being a firefly that is looking straight at a giant fan. And... I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage it's locked in. And the cable. It's like an inmate, if you think about it. Oh, you want the rain, Nemo? I mean, yeah, we do need the rain over here, but like... <laughs> I don't want the thunder. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Okay, so fan. Uh, these three are the last. It's not easy to get out of here. Oh, that's it? Okay. I look up towards a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. 
Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We'd better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They become fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupy this place. Do you understand now? I do. <laughs> Last thing. Light bulbs. Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. Well, only if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. I think... Psh, still won't let me click that. So, I don't think I'm allowed to click it. I think I've looked at everything. Finish searching. Thirsty as fuck. I spilled. I spilled on myself. <laughs> I got a water spot on my boob now. You found all the fireflies amazing. I guess. I've managed to gather my thoughts. But something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think so much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go to the balcony. Breathe in some air. Somehow those words trigger a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. All right, let's stay here then. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous. Like milk outside a bag of milk. And yet... And yet? You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never, ever. That's... a goodbye then? Um, no. I have one more small favor to ask. A, a really, really small one. What is it? I blurted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. A milk outside a bag of milk foreshadowing? It's also the name of the game, too. <laughs> I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I won't be able to sleep like this. Fine, then what's the favor? I, um... I nervously scratch my wrists and bite my lower lip. Wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes! I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you. You said that was the name of the next game. I'm trying to remember now which one was inside and which one was outside then. <laughs> Fuck. I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even through the electric heaters working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Is V still the volume button? No, it's not. I might turn it down. Mm, no, I won't. No one, he's, nobody said it's too loud. It's loud in my ears. <laughs> the 
Of course I'll believe in you. I know, it was a joke. <laughs> well anyway, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down, and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always look sleepy in the morning. Yeah, once she goes to sleep and starts dreaming, I bet some weird shit's gonna happen. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know. Then one day I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes. Letters and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. And well-deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed there. I guess they liked this place. There. By doing that, I can turn it down. The music for the game for me. Turn it down. It's so loud. <laughs> I always follow in my wake, peeping at me. And I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today... Today... Well? I... Still too scared to tell me? Of course! They're still listening, you know. Use your hands. Alright. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. And I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax. Nobody can hear you. Uh, so, what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. <laughs> Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting our time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. Am I supposed to legit close my eyes now? Achievement unlocked. You won't get it. Huh? Mm. Dude, this is like really retro. This is just like the first game. I wake up on a wooden bench. Wait, it's purple. Should I? Ah, whatever. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit valley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Um, who are you? The boy blinks in bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the brat an evaluating look. He's so young. He had already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. Wait, what? Someone is getting yeeted by a car? What? Where? <laughs> and besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Tresca says that and strikes a victory pose. No way I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird. Constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, and silence. He's a wacko. And his name is stupid. Are we going or what? You can go, and I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresca puts on a cunning smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. <laughs> yeah, this is the second game. I finished the first game in like 30 minutes. 
<laughs> it was a really small game. But this is the one that they made directly after it and expanded on the fact. Oh, you got hit by a car. Yeah, you got hit by a car the last time uh, I did a stream and you came on. You said that. I'm so sorry. I do hope you feel better. You were in the hospital when I was playing the last episode of Stray. I'll be honest with you, I don't like you. He simply burst out laughing in reply. <laughs> I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Tresco was walking way faster than me. And on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath his feet. In the end, the trip took a lot longer than it should. After reaching the store's door, we're greeted by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. It was a bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way. They probably have a special staff for this. Somebody who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. <laughs> it's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Ugh. And what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat, but a scary-looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a cardboard sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Huh? Uh, yeah. After another round of going around, going across the long row of canned products, we realize that we've lost. We're lost. We are lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, um... Maybe we should ask somebody for directions? Sure. Hey, uh, wait up! Tresca lets go of my hand and walks confidently towards one of the few store's customers. That person is standing with their back to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello, can I... I can't hear neither the second part of his question, question, nor the reply he gets, but my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry towards them. Is it going to be one of those weird people? Is he yours? The customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, um... If he's yours, please get him away from me. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer. His mouth ajar and eyes popped. I almost thought that said pooped. He's also shaking. It's called a uh, luck, I guess. You know, you can only have some good luck and some bad luck. You gotta keep both in line, I guess. Um, let's see. Only when we turn around the corner, Tresca calms down. What was that? I... I got so scared. He said... What? No. Not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning and he's crying. Can you act normal? You don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying other people is still wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. <laughs> Who, me? Dude, this is like exactly what happened from the first game, but Tresca's her and I am her. That sounds weird. <laughs> Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Dread. At the edge of my vision, I see the store staff hang a new sign on the door. There you are. I meet Tresca at the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you move. I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that was formed after Tresca. I squeeze towards him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the and the waiting fee. What? The fuck? What? 
You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Tresca starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son is... Oh. That's rude. But... I thought I was like a teenager. How could I have a son that's like that age? You heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a banknote to the cashier. A much higher value than needed. Even counting in all the stupid fees. Then grab a bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Tresca. We spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right towards a gas station. There, Tresca finally breaks a silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You know... He turns away from the path and walks straight towards the highway with determination. I stare at his back, confused. It seems like you're not helping me at all. Oh, it's like the first time I played the, the first game where I totally was not- I was an asshole. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Did she watch a little boy get hit by a truck? I think she did. I... What? Achievement unlock good night? Milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. A game by- Holy shit, did I beat the game? Well, that was actually really fast. Um, yeah, I, I thought she was like maybe in 15, 16. And I thought the other boy was like 10. So I was like, there's- That's the math not adding up. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a- uh... I'm still kind of confused. So the ending was um, definitely the first game all over again, but with her being in the shoes of the the voice that's helping. Uh, except in that game, she avoided getting hit by the bear or the truck. This boy straight out just went right into the freeway. So maybe she just had some self-realization to like her actions that night was terrible. <laughs> Oh, you said someone will get eaten by a car. Yeah, I guess you're right. Dang, though. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what most of that game was about. The aesthetic dialectic. That is such a good thing to say. Like, in the mouth. It's a good mouth sound. <laughs> um, yeah. She talked very briefly about her dad who she saw uh his corpse and she doesn't like the o she doesn't like that shape so yeah holy crap we beat that game real fast what's the achievements on this game there's 10 achievements and i only got three of them um all of the achievements are hidden so i cannot see them Dang. That's weird. What if I was just a dick? So if I push continue, oh it takes takes me right back here. I don't want to be here though. It definitely does have- and I still can't see what this is. Oh, I accidentally clicked the garbage can. And then I accidentally- You're not my pet? I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore, you got it? Got it. Hey, it wasn't on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag. Oh, she won't tell me. You never graduated. Do you remember your last day? 
her dad picked her up. I guess that day has absolutely no special meaning for you. Like I told you, it was just a normal day. Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Please. Okay, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school we were explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner together, and went to our separate rooms. Satisfied? Tell me about it again. Dad dragged me out of school building while I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. The scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done? Then he pushed me into the car and we drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No, you'll tell me again. <sighs> Dad bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mom was not home. Again. I hate mom so much. What happened next? Suddenly I feel someone's eyes on my back. Knowing that these moments should never ever be ignored, I turn around. But there's nothing there. What happened next? Achievement unlocked, you're annoying? Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. I look at my bag again, light pouring into the room through the window, glint off. I don't care anyways. And then out comes my firefly. So I got a little bit more information. Something about milk. I'm still not sure what the milk is alluding to. Because remember, shit, dude, it's raining hard. Can you hear that? It's raining hard outside. Like, <laughs> um, milk is alcohol. So if she's old enough to buy alcohol, wait, but then that little boy was, no, but that wasn't a dream. So that doesn't matter. Milk inside a, do they, can you get alcohol in a bag? <laughs> Cause like, I know you can get milk inside of a bag. That's like a thing in Canada and some other countries, I think. Oh shit. Look, dad brings milk to home and then something bad happens. Yeah, is that a face outside? <laughs> um, what other items did she have that I had the ability to ask more questions about? Um, I know there was something with turning around. I guess I gotta find some of the fireflies first. Bizarre item. Boring story. Tell me about it. I'll insist. How'd you get the laptop? Cool, you had hobbies. Hmm. Okay, I imagine hamster. Okay, hamster. Okay, hamster. You'll end up returning to that subject anyways. On one wonderful day, someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. Their cages are identical to yours. And the other hamsters look identical to you, too. That means you are all the same. You're so jelly of the rain? I mean, yeah, I was trying to fix something in my yard tomorrow, so the rain kind of sucks, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to wait for it to dry. But still, that is heavy rain. Like, I wish I could show it, but, you know, I don't want to dox myself on the internet. <laughs> Apart from the fact that they were born at that shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, uh, let's start over. This time, try to avoid stupid hamster analogies. You know I'm not at fault here. I had a lot of friends on mine. Tens, hundreds of them. Impossible to count. Is it impossible, though? I had exactly 317 of them. Although, I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. Oh, right. For my 317 friends, 68 of them were into gaming. Just like me. 130 of them like drawing. Just like me. What's that noise? Oh, it's a sink. 
The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. And when I say equally, I don't mean 59 and a half friends on each side. All right? You can split numbers evenly, no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Uh, get to the point. I knew, of course, that no real people existed on the web. I also understood that all of my friends died the moment I turned off my laptop. Oh shit, that's dark. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interests is my friend. And I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose. It's mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. You don't need to follow me around, just listen. I sit on the floor and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. A web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters. Words and actions from the web person are just ex executable code. Hey, let me know if you need a break. One day, someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some point, I let him trick me. Hey, look. Huh? Suddenly, a firefly... Okay, the firefly comes out. I think he's trying to say something. Looks like a cipher. What about your story? You must be mad at me for interrupting you. I'm sorry. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story, maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget? Then remind me, with a code word, for example. Achievement unlocked, please forget it. What code word? I'll think of one later. But for now, let's keep searching. So all the Firefly items are giving uh, extra comments about her life. So she met someone on the internet. A real person. Also, yeah, she met a real person. Uh, and didn't want to turn the laptop off because she didn't want him to die. There was one behind the notes, I think. Note pages, deck to the wall, dosages and side effects. Thought you knew them by heart. This is not your handwriting. Don't forget to thank your mom. Hey. Oh. Was it not behind there? Hmm. Uh, let's see, what else had it? The journal. Sketchbook. You draw rarely. Let's go silent. I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires and sleeping bags. Sketchbook's lying while I think of anything. Let's not go there. Stand up. Pages are white. Too bad I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A real person on the internet? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's real. I'm not real. Look at me. I'm not real. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, she shuts her eyes. Wait, I wait. Open your eyes. It's okay. Just do it. Calm down. Fucking calm the fuck down. And she's gonna get her firefly. Why is this person parking like right in front of my house? I don't know you. <laughs> this is my purse. I don't know you. That's right. Get out of my get out of my 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 place. <laughs> I'm like a dog. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Okay. So what else had a firefly in it? I'm trying to remember now. I forgot how many fireflies there were. It wasn't in the umbrella. It wasn't in the bed. Did do you guys remember? <laughs> It wasn't in the toothbrush. Shit! That scared me. I did that to myself. Pills. Pills here. Wasn't there. It wasn't in the plants. I don't think it was in the alarm clock. I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. Yeah, let's just finish. You're a figment of all of our imaginations. It's even worse, too, is like I actually 
met you in real life, so <laughs> if you're like, she's a figment of my imagination. <laughs> I managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all, a zero sum. Wait, did I not find them all? Oops. I wanna sleep. Oh wait, no, I think I have read this all. Huh? Welcome to the chat room. Wait, did my chat refresh for me? <laughs> okay, what do you mean? Well, go to the balcony and breathe in some air. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? I feel like somebody's watching you. Okay, let's see what happens with this then. There's no way somebody cares about you that much, which is such a dick thing to say, but we're gonna say it. Just for a couple minutes, okay? Oh, shit. Going to the balcony, gonna get scared. Her dad jumped off it to his death. I don't know how to rhyme that. What a creepy looking apartment. It's like a round apartment. And they, everyone just faces each other from their balconies. My apartment building looks like a bottomless cooking pot. But instead of suit, it has hundreds of concrete metal boxes on its walls. There are lights on it in the windows. There are muffled voices coming from the inside. The howling wind spirals up and splits into hundreds of independent streams. Seems like it wants to be heard by every person living here. I must feel so lonely, living in endless silence. Your apartment building is pretty weird, isn't it? I could see the horizon from my window before, and the building grew for miles in both directions. I guess at some point it circled around and closed on itself. Nothing unusual about that. Wait, I need to make sure... Did my chat... Yeah, no, my chat's going fine. I don't know why I thought it was possibly, uh, broken. How do you feel? Oh shit, there's the circle! I definitely feel... Bah! <laughs> Sometimes that's more than enough. Still, you're anxious, aren't you? Of course. Moreover, I'm completely terrified. Was it that obvious? You're looking in every direction, but not up. Uh, this... I've already told you, haven't I? About what? Uh, you know, small stuff. <laughs> Can small stuff make you terrified? It's hard to explain. I climb up the metal railing and let my legs hang down. Whoa, that's a, that's a bad thing to do! I sneak short glances at the abyss from time to time. He replies with angry, cold breath. That's how we interact, like old friends. Sometimes I feel like the whole world pretends to be crazy, as if it's trying to make me believe in something that doesn't exist. That's weird, isn't it? Yes, but at the same time, it makes me feel a little bit happy. Everything around me was created for my sake, to deceive, trick, and confuse me. If that's true, I guess I'm not so crazy myself after all. You believing in this is the definition of craziness. You're probably right. Another gust of wind blasts against the pot's walls, smashing the glass to dust and blowing away the concrete crust. I, on the other hand, feel a gentle breeze that only ruffles my hair. I still haven't come up with a code word. You were the one to remember your promise. You don't need a code word anymore. I don't like it when this happens. I want to remember certain things only when I want to. Nonetheless, you made that promise. And I'll keep it. But you need to keep in mind that from this moment on, every word will bring me pain. I bend down and imagine falling into the abyss. I have exactly two minutes before I meet my end. What? What? <gasps> oh no! Am I gonna have to watch this for two minutes? Like, oh, okay. I had a friend online. My best friend. Even though the combination of letters he used instead of his name wasn't that cool. Well, the combination of pixels he had instead of his photo was also boring and unattractive. This is so strange and wrong. Breaking the rules of being online. Why was he doing that? 
Maybe his code was a few lines short? I don't get what you quite mean. She means when you're online, you're supposed to lie and be attractive and all that stuff, but he was being himself. I could tell you about those rules. You can't find them anywhere, but I'm smart, so I figured them out myself. Although, I'm not sure if I should divulge them. Why? When I try to say what I think out loud, I tend to make mistakes. If I make just a single one, everything that comes after contradicts my thoughts. And I end up with the opposite position. And I don't want that. According to that logic, it could be better for you to keep your mouth shut forever. Yeah, that's my dream. Keep my mouth shut. Never get up from bed. Never see or hear anything. Just dream on and on. Uh, why is everything so terrible? Don't get distracted. So what was that about your friend? My friend? Ah, uh, yes. He... He was brazen enough to... Come on, gather your thoughts. He somehow made me believe that he was real. He kept describing someone else's life to me in detail, as if it was him. And he expected me to do the same. And then I told him everything about myself, without hiding a single thing. I grit my teeth. The wind whips my face without mercy. It slices my skin into uneven stripes, as if it's a piece of thin cloth. He knew more about me than anybody else in the world. You know what he did? Yes. <laughs> Sending an army of bots to harass me was probably fun. Ooh, she got internet bullied hard. And what's most important, it was a win-win situation. They spawn here and there, simple bits of code that are effortless to run. No wonder the algorithm assigns that pattern more often than the others from the list. Text and video game gener video generators get to work at the same time. My name surfaces on the web more and more. It's unbearable. Unbearable. From around every corner, every balcony, ceiling, attic, wall, I always feel many pairs of watchful eyes directed at me. And now they watch me from the screens, too. But I'll put an end to it. I've decided a long time ago. Though, maybe I only decided that only... My body finally crashes into the ground, smashing into millions of tiny pieces like porcelain. It's my second death for today already. I'm cold. Let's go back inside. So that was all in her head? Huh. I returned to my room. Thankfully, it hasn't changed one bit during the minutes I was outside. So, I think what happened with the guy is... He was telling her about him and wanted to know more about her. She told him her entire life story, or everything, from her past. Which probably includes the fact that her dad uh, unalived himself. Um, and then he told... A lot of other people and a lot of other people showed up and were uh, I would say like either harassing or constantly asking her questions but they all knew they all knew about her past and you know you put a lot of trust in the one person hoping they won't say something like that and yeah her best friend let it leak and now it felt like everyone had their eyes on her and it's probably one of the reasons why she stopped going outside. She stopped using the laptop. And that's why she hears and sees things constantly watching her. So that makes a little bit more sense. Without a second thought, I go towards my laptop and yank the power cable from the outlet. That's it. That's it. That's it. What are you going to do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Okay, so now this is the sleep. You won't take another pill. That's a goodbye then. What is it? You'll see tomorrow. Fine, what's the favor? Wait a minute, you're afraid to tell me. I don't know what that favor was still. I won't leave you alone till you tell me. It's not giving me like extra options. The extra options is where it gets spicy. 
At least she's still alive. <laughs> I crawl into my sleeping bag. Of course I'll believe you. She's gonna have literally a dream of the first game. Too scared to tell me. Use your hands. Nobody can hear you. I think this is all gonna be the same. Sounds silly and meaningless. Focus on something actually important. Fine, close your eyes. Is the dream gonna change? Maybe? Maybe? No, I don't think it is. It's so cool that they brought up the old graphics again. Was I allowed to pick anything in this whole sequence? I don't think I was. Yeah, I don't think I was allowed to pick anything. So this whole sequence was kind of like... Eh. I'll at least get to the ending, I guess. Let's see if the ending changed. Let's see how fast I can click through this game! So yeah, this is effectively the first game though. Like, the whole, it's about to close soon, you need to go. She's just in my shoes now. Like, me trying to baby a person on how to fucking talk to people. And it's just really sad, because I think it's like her finally realizing like how difficult it really is. Now, I think I was a lot kinder to her when I was in those shoes, just saying. I tried my best to help. She kind of like yanks his hand and pulls him away and all that other stuff. Like, this is, that's why I thought she was a lot younger. That's why I thought she was like in her mid-teens. Ice cream, okay. And then he jumps in front of a truck. <laughs> it looks like a big Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> like terrifying Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay. So she wakes up, she cries, and then that's the game. So the ending doesn't change, but you getting bits of the story piece by piece um, changes. So I don't think I got everything because I'm still missing... I think, uh, let me check. I'm still missing. Four, I'm still missing four achievements. So there's still a lot more to find in this game. Um, it's not an expensive game. It's a very quick game. So if you all are interested in this game, I highly suggest it because it's definitely interesting. Um, I feel like the most terrifying parts was like the very beginning with the mom. Still have not a big idea on what milk is. Like I would want to say it's a drug or something like that. Cause you know, the mom was like straight up infusing into her veins. But like, can you, you can't like buy drugs like that at the grocery store. <laughs> Moms are scary. Yeah, they can be. Get that mom with the flipper, the flip flop. Get back here. <laughs> Be right back googling mom and milk. Oh, you're gonna get something weird silent. <laughs> gonna add big mommy milkers to that. <laughs> ah, they had a- they actually had an MD on this game. Holy crap. So yeah. Also, her tryptophobia, I think that's what it's called with when you're afraid of like holes. Um. Yeah. There's a lot to this game. And I'm not quite sure I got the whole story, but I do hope that was enough to pique your guys' interest. So, yeah. We're gonna probably end it here, because it's, it's exactly two hours. I'm gonna have to find another game, because I didn't know how long this game was gonna be. Uh, so I'll find another game for next week. But, until then, I hope none of this scared you too bad. Because I want you all to have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> you know, the huge. Have a wonderful weekend. Go grab some ice cream. Go enjoy some rain if it's raining where you are. And, uh, yeah. 